hey, Kawhi, congrats on the win. Thanks. Appreciate it. That third quarter run, um, it seemed like it was predominantly started on the defensive end. And coach said you guys came out locked in on that. And is that how it felt that that entire run was determined just based off the team's defense? Yeah, pretty much. I um, think they had about 61 um, at halftime and they finished that third quarter with 77. So, uh, you know, um, if a team scoring, you know, 16 points a quarter, uh, you know, hopefully uh, you could come out with a win. Thanks. We'll go over to Tom Mayer. Hey, Kawhi, congrats on the win. Um, I want to ask you about Paul. Uh, he's, he's shooting lights out. Um, you know, some would say it's probably not, um, you know, able to keep up the rest of the year. But, but what do you make of his game so far? He's shooting from beyond the arc, the, the playmaking just overall for you guys this year. Uh, he's been playing great, um, you know, being aggressive in his spots, uh, you know, um, passing the ball, attacking the paint, um, also just knocking, knocking down, the, knocking down that three point shot. Uh, you know, uh, I'll give him credit. Uh, I mean, but he was able to work out this summer, uh, last summer, you know, he was limited, uh, probably can only get shoot 10 shots, uh, a day or so with his shoulder surgery. And uh, yeah, he, he's coming out with a determination and um, he's focused, uh, you know, that's what, that's, that's what I see. Thank you. We'll go to Andrew Gregg. Uh, hey, quite a build off that. Marcus had said that before the year that Paul had told some teammates that he felt like he was kind of back to his MVP um, season. He was a top three MVP candidate form. Um, I, I feel like I remember Paul saying at one point that he worked out with you in the off season. Did you see just by his, his shape at that point, the way he was getting shots off that you see something like this coming um, in October or November? Uh, I mean, I can't predict the future, but um, all I can say is that he put his mind into his work. And uh, when I did go work out with him, uh, a lot of his stuff was, um, like kind of game simulated, um, you know, working on uh, the passes, reads, and um, yeah, and it just translated over pretty much. We we'll go over to Law. Good evening, Kawhi. Uh, you balanced this season uh, playmaking and, and scoring at a high level, uh, but tonight I felt like it was a flawless performance, especially in that third quarter. Uh, only one turnover for you tonight. Uh, only one missed shot out of six in that third quarter. So how have you been able to balance those high level responsibilities as far as putting the ball in the basket, putting the trust in your teammates, while at the same time minimizing mistakes? Well, I think, you know, um, just going out there, just trying to win. and. Uh, you know, T. Lou is doing a great job of uh, putting us in spots, um, you know, where we could succeed at, um, where we could be great at. Um, and, you know, my teammates, uh, you know, everybody's playing hard pretty much. Uh, we want to play the right way. Like I said, uh, you know, um, pretty much did all um, what I could do um, in this league. I'm not really focused on just going out and trying to get 30 points. Uh, there's other things that I need to do to help us win. And, um, you know, whatever it is, if I score 10, 20, 30, and, um, you know, everybody's playing well and I'm giving them the ball, teams are doubling me um, or, you know, doing single coverages. Um, you know, I'm going to just be keep being aggressive and reading the game. Um, you know, um, I'm not playing for stats. I'm just going out there trying to win the game. Um, and, you know, that's been my focus and just having fun, making sure everybody's having fun and pretty much locked in. Thanks, Lo. We'll take one last one from Miriam. Hey, Kawhi, congrats on the win, man. Um, uh, this seems like a mature group and, and, and guys like, you know, what you're saying, everybody's kind of like you focused on winning. Where does Marcus fit in on that? Obviously, you know, he's been around for a minute and, and he's got – you know, his role here. Um, 
but you know, volunteering to come off the bench and what, whatever it kind of, whatever it takes. What, what, what do you make of uh, You cut out at the end. What was your last few words? Or just sort of how, how, like how he kind of raised his hand and told Ty he'd come off the bench if he needed to. And just kind of what, what does that say about sort of his, his presence on this team? Uh, I think he, um, just looking at the team, um, you know, uh, I think that was that was best for us. Um, you know, him being able to come off the bench, being another defender, another guy that could score the ball. And um, yeah, um, I think he's just smart enough to know, um, you know, you know uh, what makes this team better. And um, I think that's helped us. Um, just because he's coming off the bench doesn't mean he's going to play uh, bench minutes. Um, he might play 30 to 35 minutes some night. So, yeah, I like him. You know what I mean? Um, that was a big step for him. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, just him knowing the game, that was best for us.